So how to use the integration by part? Okay, so now we move to integration by part. So it must be a function multiplied by another function. Okay, for example, you have integration um, exponent x sine x dx. So exponent x squared sine x dx. So why don't we use substitution rule? Cannot, okay? Because there's no gx and g prime here. Okay, it's totally different thing. So here we can use by part. So the formula is this one. We let one term becomes u and another term is the dv. So this is the solution. It will be u times v minus the integral v du. So how to choose u and dv? Okay. So between exponent x and sine x dx here, which one to be the u, which one to be the v? Okay, I'll just look at here x squared sine x dx. So let u be a function that is easy to differentiate and simplify du so that v is integrable. So meaning we normally choose u, we'll eventually we can simplify it. For example here, x squared, you differentiate, you get 2x. You should get, get 2. We should again get 0. Okay. While sine x, we'll just get cos x. Negative cos x and then negative sine x. So, uh, it will just alternately repeat it. But here, it will be uh, for x squared, uh, eventually it will be simplified. So, we will choose this one as u. Okay, this one as u and the rest as dv. This one is dv. Okay, because u we will differentiate here differentiate here v we will integrate so you must choose the correct u and dv so there are there is a formula for that which is l p e t so l is logarithm or log P is polynomial, E is exponent, and T is trigonometry. Okay, log is for example you have ln x. Okay, polynomial is x power three, x power five, and so on. And exponent is exponent x exponent to x and trigo is sine x cos x and so on so the l pad is 1 2 3 4 so so this is the choice of u okay so meaning if it's the combination here here is between p and t so p come first and then t so p will be the u t will be the dv so that's how you choose you choose the u eh? the rest will be the dv so the formula is l p e t so you look at the combination between is between whether it's between polynomial and trigo ln and trigo or exponent and polynomial so you must choose the correct this is the tips. Huh? Choose the correct u. Okay. So let us proceed with this example a. So it's integral 2x sine x dx. So this is between polynomial p sine x is trigo. Okay. Remember the formula of by part is integrate u dv is equals to uv minus integration of v du. So first you need to label it. So p l 
PET, so polynomial and trigo. So your U will be polynomial 2x. DV is equals to sine x dx. Okay, so you will find DU. So you will integrate B. Okay, integrate DV. So du is equals to 2, v is equals to integrate sine x will be negative cos x. Okay, so your uv, okay, the formula for this integration is uv, so meaning negative 2x cos x minus integration of v d v d u sorry v d u so v d u will be negative 2 cos x so d u over d x so d x so now we will integrate so negative 2 x cos x we do nothing to this so 2 cos x will be plus 2 integrate cos x will be sine x okay that's it plus c remember after you integrate no more cos no more c okay for b so this is between x squared is polynomial, e is exponent, so p and e. So your u must be equals to 3x squared, dv must be equals to exponent 2x dx. So du over dx is equals to 6x. V, you have to integrate this, so exponent 2x over 2. So, substitute in the formula, we'll get uv, which is 3 over 2x squared, exponent 2x, minus integration of v du, will be exponent 2x over 2, 6x times 6x dx. So now we simplify it. So you need to do one more by part. Okay. So 3 will be 3 x exponent to x dx. Okay. You need to apply another by part here. Which one is 3? This one is u. Which one? This one is dv. So, your u, for this one only, eh? u is equals to 3x, dv is equals to exponent 2x dx. So, du is equals to 3, v is equals to exponent 2x over 2. Okay. So, now... It becomes, you have to combine them. Okay, don't forget about this. 3x squared, exponent 2x, minus, okay, a new 3 over 2x, exponent 2x, minus, VDU will be integration of 3 over 2, exponent 2x, dx. Okay, now you have to integrate this. So you'll get 3 over 2 x squared exponent 2 x minus 3 over 2 x exponent 2 x. Okay. Integrate this one, you will get negative 3 exponent 2 x over 4 plus c. So negative negative will be positive. That's it. It's very simple. As long as you choose the correct U and DV.
Okay, next example. C, we do for C. So, this is between polynomial and ln. So, which one comes first? L, P, E, T. Yes, the ln comes first. Just so, the formula integrate u dv is equals to uv minus v du. So, L, P, E, T. So, it's between polynomial, ln and polynomial. So, your u must be equals to ln x. dv must be equals to 2x. Alright. So, du is equals to 1 over x. v is equals to x. 2x squared over 2, which is just 2x. x squared. Okay, so now we substitute in the formula. So, integrate to x ln x is equals to uv x squared ln x. Always write ln x at the end, okay? Integrate v du, which is x squared uh, times 1 over x dx, okay? So, now you can cancel the x. So, we'll just be x squared ln x integrate x dx so x squared ln x minus x squared over 2 plus c that's it okay it's very simple so now i'm going to show for d d is a special case because it's between exponent and trigo so these two function you will never uh, can simplify it because exponent x you differentiate always exponent x exponent x and you repeat it same thing for cos x so there are a trick for this that you need to know okay so it's between if it is between exponent and trigo you must do this way okay how Okay, first, for D, we need to choose the correct U D first, uh, U and D V. So, I'll choose U equals to exponent X, D V equals to cos 3X DX. So, D U over D X is equal to exponent X, V is equal to uh, 3 sine 3x ok so now integration of exponent x cos 3x dx is equals to 3 exponent x sine 3x oh sorry it should be sine 3x over 3 yeah? because we integrate so here exponent x sine 3x divided by 3 okay minus integration of exponent x sine 3x over 3 ok so we will integrate so what do you get here will be exponent x sine 3x over 3 so you need to perform sorry you need to perform the by part again for this one so your u is equals to Okay, exponent x over 3 dv for this one. Eh? Is equals to sine 3x. Okay, we just choose 1. Eh? And then du is equals to exponent x over 3. v is equals to negative cos 3x over 3 so now 
the integration of exponent x cos 3x dx is equals to okay you copy down okay minus remember we have this one uh, negative 3 times 2 is 9 exponent x cos 3x over 9 minus minus integration of a negative exponent x cos 3x over 9 okay so now uh, we stop here we will simplify it okay to make it clear so exponent x sine 3x over 3 so minus minus become plus here exponent x cos 3x over 9 and then, then minus minus become positive and then minus minus integration of exponent x cos 3x dx don't forget the dx here so i put 1 over 9 outside okay so now if you can see if you do you this one you need to do by part again right but you just keep repeating the same thing after you get cos you get sine you get sine you get cos so now you can stop here you just do two by part two times of by part after you got exponent x cos 3x the same thing on the left hand side on the left hand side here okay so we stop here so what we need to do now we will bring the whole thing here to the left hand side so it'll be integration of exponent x cos 3x dx plus 1 over 9 integration of exponent x cos 3x dx okay the rest we just follow okay so now you see here it's the same thing okay do same thing so we can just add them together so one this is one plus one over nine will be ten over nine of integration exponent x cos 3x dx so it's equals to the whole thing on the right hand side right okay so now you will move the 10 over 9 to the right hand side because we just want exponent x cos 3x dx without the 9 uh, 10 over 9 so we both bring to here so you multiply by 9 over 10 for both sides so you will get 3 3 exponent x sine 3x over 10 plus exponent x cos 3x over 10 plus c okay so it's the same answer as this one so that's it for if it's combination between exponent and trigo you need to use this way okay it's a special case you need to move it to the um, left hand side you differentiate or you do the by part two times and then you move the term to the left hand side so that's it So please do exercise 4 for your practice.